Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it's time for a Dynamic Effort Upper Day, which I probably need to just rename Tricep Day instead of Upper Body Day, but I digress. A quick reminder for those of you who've watched these videos, please remember to click like down below. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, this bar for speed bench was awkward. I was trying to figure out what grip I wanted to use. I realized I was faster with the, the closer grip instead of the wide. I don't have a, what I would think is a true medium grip on this one like I do on some of the other bars, but I'm going to make it work. Uh, but again, we're going to rotate bars, chains, bands every single speed day and just focus on, on getting the speed down. Now, I did notice with this one, I ended up tapping the uprights on the last set. Uh, you know, so again, I just need to be aware of that. And I, I might start messing more with my, because of all the different bars I use, and I have three different multi-grip bars now, and I'm going to use them for a lot of my different pressing, I might need to use my monolift again, just because it avoids hitting uprights, because it pulls everything out of the way. It right? pulls everything out of the way. But happy with the speed. I, I probably should have used more chain on these today. But the speed was good. Uh, obviously, we're going really light. I'll be discussing more of that in videos as to why I've made the decision to drop speed work down to stupidly light weights and just focus on bar speed. Right, But I will always use bands and chains for it. But this one, you guys notice, I tapped those uprights on that, on that last set. But here's what we're doing. We're limiting ourselves to six supplemental lifts on all my days, okay? I'm doing mini workouts. I'm getting plenty of extra volume with all the band work and the high rep stuff I do on mini workouts. We need to just focus on quality work, hitting what we need to hit. So for me, that's gonna be rotating movements weekly, tracking progress on these. So for each slot, I'll probably have at least three to four different exercises, you know, such as again, the seal rows. The seal rows are a slot. I can easily do four different seal rows. Like I'm doing the wide grip now. All right, we're doing that wide grip. Okay. I have the closer grip, which is shoulder width. I can use that same bar you just saw me doing for two different grips. That's four seal rows. I have four different grips of pull-ups I can easily do. All right. So I'm going to end up having a main bench slot on the upper days. Right, a main bench slot that addresses whatever my current weak links are. And right now the pin bench addresses that. I'm gonna have a rowing slot, a pull-up slot. I'm gonna have, I think, I'm just gonna have a close grip bench slot. Why? Tricep specialization. My triceps still suck. And I had them quite a bit bigger at one time for some of the shoulder issues. They were a lot bigger and stronger when I, because again, I close grip 352. I've done it twice now. But my triceps were visibly bigger. We need to just build the triceps up. Even though I'm going to do medium grip benching for all my main benching. Triceps, triceps, triceps. That's going to be the name of the game. And I can address the chest and delts off of this supplemental work. Just picking the right lifts. One main lift. All right, And then everything else is going to be triceps. So I'm probably going to have a closed grip slot. And then I'm going to have two tricep exercises. So out of my six movements, three of them are going to be tricep dominant. And yes, that's a lot of tricep work. Yes, I'm having to do restoration for my triceps to keep that going. But the beauty of it is a lot of the data shows that out of the upper body, triceps can actually handle the most volume. If you start looking at hypertrophy studies, it's one of the few muscles that keeps growing with relatively high volumes, and we found a cutoff. All right? For a lot of muscles, they're, they'd stop growing by 10 sets if we're doing really hard sets with nice long breaks. So what does that mean? It means I'll get three sets of a main press after max or speed work. I'll get three sets of a pull-up, three sets of a row, all done really hard and then a ton of tricep work. But some of these are multi-joint exercises. So keep in mind, some of these tricep movements are still building pecs and delts. They're not being neglected. My volumes are inside of our good range for that. But again, I'm gonna have to be very specific. And I need to get strong on all of my bars, right? I'm gonna get strong and hit good maxes on every single bar that I have for the benching. So this is the game plan. Uh, but again, I'm really happy with these today. I got six reps with that, with 60 pounds just now, by the way, which is pretty decent considering my body weight. We need to get that up to 90. 
that's a good baseline goal. I need to get to fives with 90 pounds on all of my pull-ups, all my variations. All right, starting off the closed group, because I'm just going to do it for the one day, then we rotate the new movements for next week. Now let's keep it simple. I want to do mostly closed group work with chains and rotate bars in this slot. Straight bar. But let's just get the straight bar out of the way. Just get a baseline. And to, to figure out how fatigued I am by this point in each workout. Because obviously if I was fresh, I could go a little heavier on all of these. But I'm doing a lot other work first. But, you know, I, 225 with the chains was the final set. I felt like I didn't have a rep left. The last rep was grindy on the third set. So we're approaching at least a 3 by 5 max. Not necessarily a 5 rep max because I could have done more on the first first set but this is kind of our baseline to see where we're at with the straight bar and then we'll have to adjust this and progress weekly as we rotate through the different ones all right we'll have to, to adjust it but happy with it um, again good tricep activation then I continued with what I did earlier this week for the JM press and I went up to 115 with the 30 pounds of chains got five five and then six and for some of those, I've had someone ask me once, is your wrist cocking back? No, look closely. My, my knuckles stay pointed at the sky. You can tell more on the right hand. It's just the camera angle. I actually keep my knuckles pointed straight up, even though we bend the arm, and we punch the sky. And for, so occasionally, someone will see at this angle, or oh, this is a closed grip bench. No, it's above my face. That barbell is above my chin. That's not a closed grip bench. The last one before it was a closed grip bench. But we're going to do all of those. We're going to mess with, a, I think, a JM press variation and then some sort of extension variation after the closed grip work each time. So, yeah, I mean, more or less, my upper body days are <laughs> seem like a back and tricep day. Now, people say, well, is that enough for your upper back? Well, I'm doing face pulls every day. So factor that in. Also, all the speed pulls, the lower days, that counts towards upper back. Not necessarily the rear delts, but again, you start counting in the face pulls. Face pulls are one of, band face pulls, even though I'm doing 30 plus reps, like 30 to 50 rep sets, still one of the best rear delt exercises. Okay, so for me right now, I'm doing high rep band press downs and high rep face pulls every day. Again, the idea, tendon health, blood flow recovery for the upper back, the shoulders, the triceps, and those elbows. I need that to do what I'm going to do with the tricep volumes because this is going to be done twice a week. And it's heavy. This isn't really a lot of, of true volume from reps. This is heavy volume because look at the rep ranges we're using. And we're using mostly big movements and then I'm going to come in and finish with one smaller movement to make sure we really get the long head. That we've hit the triceps from every angle but it's still going to be fairly heavy. I want to stick close to 10s. 10s to 12s for that because then I get the real rep work. But I was only able to do 35s for 10s because I did all that other tricep work. I couldn't handle 40s. I've been able to do 40s for 10s on these in the past. But I'm going to start rotating angles here. I can use incline. I can use decline. If I have to, I can use some different barbells and just do them as, as other extensions. Right? I have the, all the bars to do it. But I want to use dumbbells for quite a bit of this too. I have the dumbbells. They're easy on your elbows. I might as well make good use of them. And yes, we will work dumbbell chest pressing back in eventually. But very happy with the way this workout went today. Uh, so I hope it has been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.